but eight seats. Why is the party flatlining in England and Wales? Uh, well, I don't think that's true at all, because, of course, what we have in England and Wales, where we have uh, proportional representation, fair elections, the London Assembly and, indeed, the Wales Assembly. Alice Hooker-Stroud, our leader in Wales, did a brilliant job last night in the first leader debate in Wales. And we're looking to win our first seats on the Assembly in Wales. Right, but the Welsh Party has dropped to 3% of the regional vote in some recent polls, and that's down from 3.4% at the last Assembly election. Party membership in England and Wales has dropped from 66,000 uh, in September 2015 to 63,000 in April last year. You're going the wrong way as these elections come. Uh, well, what we're seeing is, you know, 63,000, contrast that to 12,000 members when I became leader. Sure, uh, uh, but, but, but it's but, coming down as we uh, approach the elections, but, not going up. But what I'm finding is, you know, there's really two groups when we come to the council elections. There's two groups. There's places like Sheffield, Liverpool, uh, Oxford uh, and, of course, Bristol where, of course, in Bristol West, we got agonisingly close to winning our second parliamentary seat, a 23% swing to us. Places where we're already being strong, we're looking to become much stronger. Right. But also there's but a lot of... the thing is you're going to try, obviously, um, and extend your presence and your vote in those areas, but you're not going to make enough of a showing to improve your overall standing in places where you're not. Oh, well, what we're very much growing is the other group of, of, of uh, councils where we're really making an impact is many councils where we've got a chance to win our first seats. And you, I've been travelling around the country country from Exeter, from Colchester, Newcastle, South Shields, all kind of places where even a couple of years ago there may not have been a Green Party. But now we've got a great chance to win our first councillor. Right. And what people are really liking is a message that says, you know, we're very tired, a council, we're not happy with the council's performance. We want a new green broom sweeping through these dusty corridors, asking questions, challenging, scrutinising. What and that's a message that really is striking home in very many different communities around the country. Well, what about in London? Because the mayoral candidate polled as low as 2% in an opinion poll on the 3rd of April, and that's down from four and a half percent in 2012 when in fact you came in third well i think what we're seeing is as the mayoral candidate uh, the mayoral election uh heightens up and people are hearing what sean berry has to say you know her slogan is the power of good ideas mm -hmm. and but she's that's got, a very low bar uh, isn't and she's, it and she's got good ideas uh, that i think will translate into votes both in the mayoral election but also very importantly in the london assembly where we've always had at least two representatives on the london assembly with a fair proportional system we have a great chance to grow that representation here on the london assembly what impact will these results have on your leadership your future leadership will you be standing for re-election as leader later this year uh, well as, as i've already said and put on the record at the moment there's only one election I'm focused on which is these elections in May I'm of course also working on the referendum I'm focused on these elections these are the elections the democratic elections for the whole sure. of the people of England and Wales that's all I'm focusing because on because you haven't made a decision about whether you'll stand again no the Green Party the way the leadership works is is it's every two years it comes up again I'll decide at the moment I'm just not thinking about that I'm thinking about these elections people would say if you were planning to stand again you, you would be able to say so now are you waiting for the results of these elections to decide whether you should stand again no I I think it would be an extreme distraction if I was to say anything about... Um you know, well, do, if you said you were standing again, why would that be a distraction? Well, because because people people would be, you know, what we want to do is focus on electing our first Green Councillor in Exeter, our first Green Councillor in Newcastle, our first Green Councillor. Those are the things that we're actually focusing on. I, I'm not talking about anything else. You're the person who's talking about it. Yeah, but I suppose it's coming up in a, in a few months' time. And for continuity purposes, people might want to know why you couldn't just say, yes, I'm standing again. <laughs> uh, have you, we, we have elections. Let's focus on these local elections where people are debating local issues. And it's really important that people, you know, we, we've been heading towards a presidential style of politics in Britain. That's deeply unhealthy. People are electing their local representative in their community. That's what the focus should be. Just finally, on the EU referendum, I mean, the Scottish Green Party leader Patrick Harvey said in the run-up to the independence referendum, Greens the world over believe in bringing power closer to the people. Wouldn't a vote to leave the EU bring power closer to the people? Well, as I'm sure you know, we're very strong in campaigning to remain in the EU. Jenny we've Jones been, isn't, is she? Uh, uh, well, the Green Party conference last autumn, about 95% of conference floor strongly backed a strong Remain campaign. The Green Party, like all parties, has people with different views. Unlike other parties, we have no problems with that because, of course, the Green Party doesn't whip. So we're very comfortable with people having different views and, as Jenny did on Question Time, you know, stating their own position while also very clearly stating the Green position, which is that we believe we need to work together cooperatively on the joint problems that we face. We need to make decisions at the right kind of level. So if we're thinking about things like air pollution, water pollution, workers' rights, food standards, for those things we need to work in.